Hi, this is my father, and I was wondering if we could put this flyer in your window. Sure. We've added a secret witness phone number. Uh huh. Go ahead. And a better picture of Lucky, the yeah. dog. I wish I had yeah, two months. Have you seen this prior to today? I saw it in Elko, actually. Did For it? one yeah. family from Reno, the past 11 weeks have seemed like an eternity. The three Carnes brothers have traveled hundreds of miles back and forth along Interstate 80, plastering truck stops and motels with posters about their father, Pat, missing since April 14th. The worst part is simply not knowing. This is very brutal like stuck in neutral. You're not going forward, you're not going back. We're very hard. Pat think. Carnes is an 86-year-old military veteran, independent and mentally sharp, who was traveling from Toledo, Ohio to Reno in mid-April, accompanied by his loyal companion, Lucky, described as a coffee table with legs. He drove west on Interstate 80, which slices through the high desert, punctuated by western towns like Elko and Battle Mountain. His cross-country journey ended 20 miles east of Winnemucca. A local woman spotted Carnes' abandoned Subaru in a field just off an exit ramp. You'll find a lot of times out here, you know, in the rurals, you'll find cars parked out in the desert and people will park and they'll hike and they'll go rock hunting or what have you and just leave their vehicles. This was a little unusual where it was parked, in fact, quite unusual where it was parked. Under Sheriff Curtis Cull says it was unusual that Carnes' vehicle was on the south side of the highway since Carnes was traveling west. If he'd pulled over, it would have been on the north side. Also unusual was its position in the field. And then it was sitting right here with the nose right against the perimeter fence, parked right here. To Cull and others, it looked as if the car had been dumped. A wide search of the area by air and land failed to find any signs of Carnes or Lucky. There was nothing wrong with the Subaru, no blood or signs of a struggle, no unusual prints. Detectives from Humboldt, Lander, and Elko counties have checked rest stops, fuel stations, fast food joints along I-80 for clues, but have found no sign of Carnes. The one thing they do have is a solid timeline. They know where Pat Carnes was at 9 o'clock the night before his car was found there and there's Pat. Police have obtained a dash cam video recorded by a Nevada Highway Patrol trooper on the night of April 13th. Sam, David, Tom John, Sam. The trooper had already pulled over a trucker when Carnes passed by in the right-hand lane. The trooper dropped what he was doing and chased Carnes, who seemed to be traveling in tandem behind a big rig trucker. Nobody else on the road. He's right, right behind that rig. The NHP pulled Carnes over at a spot six miles east of Wells. The video shows Lucky's wagging tail in the back seat. Carnes apologized for not yielding the right lane and then made a remark that Cull thinks is key to the mystery. I'm only following him because he's going to help him. I'm only following him because he's going to Elko. And the him that we figure is the truck that he's directly behind. The same dash cam video that spotted Karn's car passing by also caught this grainy image of the truck he was following. Cull has received dozens of comments from truck drivers about the identity of the rig, but none have panned out yet. Cull is certain that whoever was driving that truck knows what happened to Pat Carnes and might even be responsible. My gut tells me, yeah, there's two people involved, just, just for logistics. The case is more chilling in light of a similar disappearance five years earlier. Judith Casita of Reno drove east out of Reno and vanished. A month after her disappearance, her car showed up in the same field off the same exit where Carnes' car was found. And Cull says there have been other disappearances out here. He doesn't like to say it aloud, but does anyway. Well, let's talk about scenarios then. A trucker who's a serial killer, is that possible? Very, very, sure.